Hey everyone, welcome to this VHF UHF channel and this is a uh, quick video to show you how you can use an Android device and a RTL dongle and actually turn your Android tablet or phone into a scanner radio or police scanner as we say. Pretty cool. Uh, you use a piece of software called SDR Touch. It's available uh, on the Play Store and uh, of course it requires a special driver. Some people uh, in older devices might need to actually root their device. It's very important to know. But if you have a later or a more recent device like this is a Galaxy S7 phone, works fantastically well. So you've got all the settings, so for example whatever you want to listen to. Uh, of course you've got the power on off button. You've got the modes here. This is the different modes uh, including sideband. You've got, of course, a spectrum if you want. You've got a squelch function. You can jump to a frequency. Say I want to listen to uh, a broadcast band station. I can type in 88.5, for example. Say done. Set. Now, here, I will change the narrow FM to broadcast FM. And here we go. We are now on something that is actually much better and of course you can wind in the uh, filters and everything so basically this is cool because it lets you listen you have RDS if you want which lets you synchronize so for example while you're listening to a station you see the RDS coming in on the uh, display so you're listening to CBC and I can actually put the volume higher. And he had only granola bars and Gatorade to keep him going. There we go. Chris Clark told CBC reporter Greg Rasmussen what it's been like on the front lines at Fort And of course you can listen to whatever you want. So for example, say I want to, I'm going to narrow this again. I'll go into regular FM narrow mode. And uh, let's see if there's uh, any... Baby monitors around 49.945. Done. Set. None here, but there's a spike right here. Let's check out the spike. Maybe. Here we go. This is a baby monitor, actually. Somebody listening to the TV right now. Oh, well, they're actually talking. Quite interesting. So, you know, it really turns your device into a uh, software-defined radio into your phone or tablet. And it's pretty cool for that. You can listen to whatever you want. So, for example, here I'll enter dot seven hundred. see if something's on the 2-meter band. Yep, something here. But look at that. There's another stronger one here. Let's check it out here. There we go. So this is a two meter amateur repeater. So it's really nice and you've got everything. If you want, you can uh, use, like uh, if you look on my shortwave channel, you'll see that I've used a, uh, I've used a um, soft 66 and you can put the offsets and everything. And here, for example, I can squelch. So I put the level of squelch that I want when I want to listen to the signals. So that, here we go. So when there's no signal, it doesn't interfere or anything. So it works really well. And, you know, with a little dongle like this, this costs $8, $7 or $8 on the internet. You just plug it in. Uh, some devices might need separate power that I got to say. Uh, on a Galaxy S7 phone, what's cool is that there's enough power here to give the power to the dongle. But it's uh, really nice and uh, really is an amazing uh, little device. And it you know it makes your device portable suddenly. So uh, really, really cool. So for example here, let me uh, jump to the uh, Environment Canada weather. So I'll just go back to 162.5. Five, five, sorry, five, five, zero. 
And of course, because it's in SDR, what's nice is that you can actually touch on the display and go directly to a frequency where you see a spike of something. And so basically by going on the frequency, you're really hitting the frequency that you want to listen to. Of course, selectable filter. So here I can actually set the filter a little wider or a little narrow, depending on what I want to listen to. So it's pretty cool and uh, it's a great, great device. I can uh, have different categories, memories and all sorts of things set in. So check it out. Um, SDR Touch for Android devices and uh, works well with any RTL device directly through USB. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. And hope you enjoy the videos.